During the recent pandemic, it was necessary to take certain steps to protect the public health. However, in the words of the father of our Constitution, James Madison, all men having power ought to be distrusted to a certain degree. During a crisis, when the government must exercise unusual powers, it can be difficult to know who is operating in good faith. It was good and proper, for instance, for civil leaders to decree a time when there would be no large gatherings of people. As long as churches were not singled out, this did not pose a religious freedom threat. However, as former Obama Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel once said, you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. The pandemic in some cases became the cover for arbitrary and unreasonable exercises in government power. In Louisville, Kentucky, Democratic Mayor Greg Fisher banned so-called drive-through church services for Easter Sunday. In such a service, families would have remained in their individual cars for the whole outdoor service, posing a virus risk to no one. Thankfully, a federal judge appointed by President Trump issued an injunction overruling Mayor Fisher. In a withering decision, U.S. District Court Judge Justin Walker wrote, on Holy Thursday, an American mayor criminalized the communal celebration of Easter. The mayor's decision is stunning and it is beyond all reason unconstitutional. This coronavirus will not be the last such crisis of our time. During such an event, we Christians owe our obedience to the government, as Paul noted in Romans chapter 13. But we must also remain vigilant to check the power of those who would use a crisis to subvert the ultimate civil law of our nation, the Constitution. And we must not give up our God-given freedoms in exchange for Orwellian growth of government draped in shallow promises of protection.